Hello, and welcome to the USGS series of help videos for the Digital Shoreline Analysis System, or DSAS. Today we present Introduction to DSAS Version 5, Sample Data Workflow. This workflow assumes that you have already installed DSAS Version 5 with an ArcMap version of 10.4 or higher, and have downloaded the USGS provided sample data. If not, please use the links listed below this video to navigate to the DSAS project page where instructions on installing DSAS and downloading sample data can be found. Before getting started with DSAS, please make a note of the available help resources. In each DSAS window, there are gray help question marks. Simply click the question mark to read more about each element. For additional questions, navigate to DSAS help where you will find links to the DSAS project page and the full DSAS version 5 user guide. To begin, open ArcMap and click the Add Data button. Navigate to the folder where the DSAS sample data have been saved. Select both the shoreline and baseline data and add them to the map. If you like, double-click on each file in the table of contents to adjust the color properties. Next, we will add a base map file by clicking the drop-down arrow next to the Add Data button. Now we can orient the shoreline and baseline data in reference to land. Next, locate the DSAS toolbar and click the Default Parameters button. Select the baseline by clicking the drop-down arrow in Baseline Layer, then choose the Basic Baseline. Select the Baseline ID field, ID. Leave the Baseline Group field and the Baseline Search Distance field blank. To determine the location of land relative to baseline orientation, check the box next to Show Baseline Orientation. This will change the symbology of the baseline layer to indicate the direction of flow of the baseline. This will help you make sure that all baseline segments are flowing in the same direction and allow you to determine the location of land relative to baseline orientation. The land is oriented to the right of the baseline in this case. For baseline placement, choose the Midshore or Combination option as the baseline segments are located both onshore and offshore. Next, click on the Shoreline Settings tab. Choose the shorelines by clicking the drop-down arrow in Shoreline Layer and select the basic shorelines. Next, select the date field DSAS Date and choose DSAS UNCY for the shoreline uncertainty field. Keep the default uncertainty set to 10 meters. For intersection parameters, select Seaward Intersection. Next, click on the Metadata Settings tab. For this section, populate the fields with general information to assist in automatic metadata production. Each element is required, so be sure to fill in all the blanks. This may take a few minutes, but only needs to be done once. When you have finished, click OK to save all default parameters settings. Next, locate the DSAS toolbar and click the Cast Transects button. By default, DSAS will save the transects and all subsequent rate information to the same geodatabase as the baselines and shorelines. Provide a name for the new transects. Set the value for maximum search distance to 1000. This will be the distance that DSAS searches on either side of the baseline for transects. Next, set the transect spacing to 100 meters and set the smoothing distance to 1000 meters. Keep the default setting to clip transects to shoreline extent and click OK to cast transects. A DSAS alert will appear to inform you that the new transect layer has been selected in the DSAS toolbar, which is required for editing and calculating shoreline change rates. If you like, double-click on the transect file to change its color properties. Review the transect coverage to ensure all shorelines are intersected and the orientation of the transects is roughly perpendicular to the general shoreline trend. From the DSAS toolbar, click the Calculate Rates button. Select the statistics to run. You can choose all by clicking the checkbox at the top or select individual statistics. For additional parameters, keep the default settings for intersection threshold and confidence interval. For outputs, Choose to display the results using a color ramp by clicking the drop-down arrow and selecting the LRR statistic. Choose Create DSAS Summary Report 
which will summarize all of the basic statistics in a text file, which is saved to the folder that contains the shoreline and baseline geodatabase. Click Calculate to start. This may take a few minutes. Once DSAS has finished running, close the dialog box and review the newly created transect and intersect shapefiles. New to DSAS version 5, rate information is stored with the transect file. If selected in the rate calculation settings, rates are returned with a predefined color ramp based on the selected statistic. In addition, all shoreline intersection information is now stored in a new point shapefile. Once you have run rates, you can easily change the way the rate transects appear in the map. From the DSAS toolbar, click the Data Visualization button. Choose a rate layer within the map and select the desired statistic to display. Options for displaying rates include Apply Color Ramp, a standardized color ramp designed by the USGS, or Scale to My Data, where output is adjusted to the full range of rate values within the dataset. This concludes the demonstration of the USGS provided basic sample dataset for DSAS version 5. You can view other DSAS help videos at the DSAS project page listed below this video.